Hey you guys, so this is my first time out of the house and sorry, I thought I got a bite. <laughs> in three months. So since the babies have gotten here, um, it was so nice of Ryan to set this up for me. We're with Tyler and Never Never Char sorry. <laughs> You said Never Never Land, and I'm so confused. Last call. Last call fishing charters. And yeah, we're hoping to catch some fish today. It's. Woo! Oh, right. We got one. We got one. We got one. Woohoo! Nice sheep's head. Got him. See, you're doing something. He's going to be close. I can mess with So, anyway, what she, was, what she was saying was. We're catching some fish today and we're loving it. Uh, we got the grandmas at home watching the babies, so we're so thankful for you guys and enjoying a few hours out catching some fish to bring home some dinner. He's a little small. So right here with Tyler, last call fishing charters, and you're out of St. Augustine? Yep, St. Augustine and Jacksonville. St. Augustine and Jacksonville, Florida, and we're catching some sheep's head. If we can catch enough, we'll, uh, we're gonna make a ceviche. Already got some ideas. Should be good. Beautiful day. It's like 32 degrees this morning, but it's warmed up and it's nice out here. Northeast Florida. Stick with us. Looks like a big sheep's head. Yep. Oh, God, big old really sheep's head. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Great job. Yes. Awesome. Ooh. That's a big in there. Yeah, big old sheep's head. <laughs> Great. That is a big That's one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Fairly yeah. hooked, man. That's a nice one, man. Yeah. Oh, good. Deal. Good job, man. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Where do those sheep's head? It's probably about 16 inches. They gotta be 12 to keep them. Perfectly legal. Look at those teeth. I guess that's the reason why they call them sheep's head. They've got teeth almost like a human. Super cool fish. They're really hard to catch too. For every one that we catch, we're missing nine. They'll come and just crush your, your uh, little fiddler crab right off your hook. Really hard to catch, really hard mouth. Crazy teeth, but a delicious fish. Look at that sheep's head. That is a really nice sheep's head. Glory and caught that one. As usual, biggest fish of the day. But we did well. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I got a thicker knife because it's a little bit bigger fish. So I'm gonna do is just go right behind the gill plate. I'm gonna cut down to the, the spine and then I'm just gonna go along the, the backbone there. All the way down. All the way down to the tail. I'm just taking my time with this because I want to make sure not to lose any meat. These fish are way too valuable. All the way down to the rib bones. They do have some thick rib bones. We did, did really well today. All the bait shops have been out of fiddler crabs, and so Tyler actually had to go out and catch his own fiddlers. I'm glad he did because uh, he did well. So right over top of those ribs, I'm just kind of taking my time. Filet. You can see there's no meat, no meat left on there. And that's just ribs right there, ribs and guts. It's a really good filet. Just gonna skin it. Really nice and sharp knife. Kinda let my knife do the work. This is gonna make some awesome speech in. Right 
here's the play. Wash that off and we're gonna have some ceviche for dinner. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Beautiful morning, beautiful day on the water. Tyler said it was frozen this morning. He said it was ice on his boat. We were pretty chilly, but it warmed up really quick. It's like 77 degrees now. And that's what's crazy about North Florida is it can change 40 degrees, 50 degrees sometimes in just a matter of hours. One thing that's really cool about our property is uh, we live like 25 miles from the ocean, but there's shells like this everywhere. We've got some huge conch shells that we've found. There's a piece of one right here, big conch shell. And this was all ocean out here, you know, thousands of years ago. It's really cool. But what we're doing now is we've got some oranges that grow on our property, some wild oranges. Oranges are not native to Florida. They're actually from South Asia, um, but they were brought here in the 1500s. And here's one of our orange trees right here, just growing wild. They can be found, you know, growing wild in certain areas, but they're not native. They were either planted or somebody dropped an orange seed because they do grow really well here. We're gonna pick just a few of these. So one thing about these particular oranges here is that they are really sour. Too sour for most people. I like really sour, but they're gonna be perfect for ceviche. They're very acidic. This with a little lime juice and it's gonna be on point. Look at those spikes right there, you gotta be careful. When picking some of these wild oranges, they get some giant thorns on them. All right, we've got a good mess of oranges. We're gonna head back up to the house and start making our ceviche. All right, you gotta love North Florida. It's uh, late January, almost February, and this morning it was winter. Now it's summer, it's almost 80 degrees. Beautiful day. Lori Ann caught a monster sheep's head. We ended up having about six in the cooler and a pompano, so just a great day. We were on fish pretty much the whole time. It was awesome, beautiful day. So this is the just one side of that big fish that, actually one side of one filet right there off that fish that Gloria Ann caught. So we're gonna use this to make some ceviche. Super fresh dish. About a pound of fish is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use uh, one tomato, uh, one green bell pepper, one sweet Vidalia onion. Um, we use about a half of a jalapeno. Um, you can use a whole jalapeno if you like it really spicy. We like it kind of like mildly to medium spice. But you can use a whole one for really spicy or you can even use a habanero pepper or something spicier if you like it really spicy. We use about a half of a normal size jalapeno. We got two limes here, and then we've got these fresh oranges. Now I'm using these oranges, they're perfect for ceviche because they're really sour. They're almost like lemons, they're like lim oranges. So we're gonna go ahead and chop up our veggies and our fish and get them sitting. And this, what this will do is this lime juice and this lemon, or this lime juice and this orange juice has so much acidity, it'll actually kind of cook the fish. So we're gonna chop everything up, put it in here, leave it for about two hours. It's gonna be delicious. I'm just cutting up my fish into little bite-sized pieces. Just little nuggets. And the smaller it is, the smaller the pieces are, the less time it's gonna to take to, to cook that. Technically, you could eat this raw. In fact, let me grab a little fresh piece here for myself. Fresh fish. It's delicious. That is delicious. It actually tastes like um, yellow tail snapper straight from the uh, from the sushi restaurant. That's good. No fishiness at all, and that's what fish is supposed to taste like. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and he said his mom hates fish. I said, "Where is she from?" He said, "She's from Iowa." I said, "Okay, she's probably never had fresh fish. She's probably had restaurant fish, and most restaurant fish." is frozen. It is a night and day difference between fresh fish and frozen fish. I don't like frozen fish, for the most part, but fresh fish is hard to beat. I love the smell of that fresh green pepper. We're just gonna use a half a green pepper for the amount of fish that we have here. Kinda adds color and crunch and some good flavor. Half a green pepper here, gonna throw that in. All right, got my onion, sweet onion already uh, cleaned and peeled. Just gonna give that a rough chop. All right, got a good rough chop on these onions. One large tomato. Mm, that is looking good. It's really coming together. Half a jalapeno. I'm cutting these up pretty fine. That way we get an even mix of spice all throughout the dish, preferably in every bite. 
jalapeno cut up real fine. Half a jalapeno. Throw that in there. Now it's time for our citrus. We're gonna start off with one lime. Just squeeze that and get all that good juice out of there. If you have any cuts on your hand from fishing earlier in the day, that lime juice will find it. Woo! Cut right there. Ooh, that one's burning too. And now for our fresh wild Florida lemons. I'm sorry. What are these? Oranges? Lemon oranges. <laughs> mm. Fresh orange juice. Straight from our backyard. Mix this up real good. Put a little on the table. Just kind of get this mixed evenly. We're using enough juice here to fully submerge all this food. That way that acidity gets in there and, and cooks it. And you can leave this, you let it cook for an hour, you can let it sit for 30 minutes. You let it sit for two or three hours. I've heard not to go up to four. We like it kind of al dente. So, one more good squeeze. These are some juicy oranges too. They are perfect for this. So we're gonna put this in the fridge for about an hour, and then we'll show you the next steps. All right, here's our ceviche. Uh, looking good and smelling good. So it's been in there for a little over an hour. We're actually gonna take this over to my parents' house. It's my brother's birthday in two days and we're celebrating over there. So we're gonna bring this fresh ceviche over there. It's about to storm here. So let's head over there and enjoy this with the family. All right, so we are at Ryan's parents' house for his brother Spencer's birthday. And we have some happy helpers. So that's where the boys are right now. They're being fed. So we have a quick moment to finish off our ceviche. So before we came, we actually drained all that extra citrus juice off of it, um, just so it's not fully saturated, but there's still a little bit of juice in there. But you can see that fish is, is like pretty much cooked. So just the acidity from that citrus is what's cooked this fish. So it looks and smells so good. So the final touches that we're gonna do, I'm just gonna slice up a little bit of cucumber and then cilantro and some sliced avocado. And then we'll be ready to enjoy. Just topping it off with some fresh cut cilantro. Gonna be ready to serve here. Mm. Very refreshing and good. And good? Mm -hmm. I caught that fish just a few hours ago. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh boy. It's perfect. All right. That's some good stuff. Well, when you get pushed out of the way because everybody's eating it, crowds you out, you know it's good. Good sign. <laughs> we like to eat. We like to catch what we eat and know where our food comes from. Thank you to Tyler with uh, Last Call Charters. He put us on the fish very quickly. Yeah. Look at all my babies. I did that. <laughs> yeah. They're growing so fast. <laughs> Just got this. Yeah. I can end it with a smile. Can I end it with a smile? With a smile. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Thanks for joining us guys. We couldn't do it without you guys. Until next time, stay well.